the first few years, uh, I was just concentrating on, you know, staying on the flow. sales. Yeah. And <clears throat> the sales. Yeah. And um, the uh, real estate uh, commission in Georgia allows you to, in order to get a broker's license, you have to be a licensed realtor for, for three years. Uh-huh. And so I always had thought in the back of my mind that someday I, you know, probably like to be a broker. And, and have my own company. Gotcha. But you know how time just tends to fly by. Yeah. You know, and I looked up and it was probably a little, maybe six years to have passed. And I was like, oh, I could have done that three years ago, but I think I'll do it now. So I sat for the, uh, the well, I studied for the uh, broker's exam okay. and um, got a, a broker's license. Cool. And now just because you have a broker's license doesn't, you know, in itself mean you have a company. You right. could be a broker an, or an associate broker with a license under, you know, Somebody another else. Broker. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, you know, you, you don't have to step out on the limb and actually open your own business. But right. I, that's what I wanted to do. So you just went straight for it and... And started your own thing? Uh, yeah, I, I worked uh, while I was in broker school. I was at my last broker mm-hmm. um, in, in Riverdale. And she was a, a, a good friend of mine and a, and a great colleague. And she had offered me, I told her I was going to work on my real estate, li- uh, my, uh, I'm sorry, my brokerage. Yeah. And she says, well, just put your license here. And, you know, while you're going to school, yeah, you, yeah. you know, just you, you can work out of my office. Right. So that's exactly what I did. And a year later, I got the um, broker's license and decided to go out on my own. I was already doing property, uh, working with property management right. in a, in a, a smaller, um, in a, in a smaller form because she allowed property management. He, he, every broker does not allow or does not do property management. Right. So you have to make sure wherever you're at, wherever your license is at, that, that broker works, <clears throat> works with property management. But you have, do you have to have uh, a brokerage license to do property management? Or? You should have a real estate license. Gotcha. Okay. To practice property management, yeah. yes. And unfortunately, that is, you know, there are many who are not. Right, right. Yeah. Gotcha. But be, because in and of itself that you, you are handling trust funds. Right. You should have a real estate license. Right, right. Yeah. Because they have a process for that. That is correct. Yeah. They have a process. Yep. <laughs> so uh, very, very clear process. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and policed. Yes. Uh, so you have, uh, w- at what point did you start, did you start hiring other agents at, immediately or? No, um, I was pretty terrified to do that. Yeah. And that wasn't my, initially when I decided I wanted to be a broker, it was just to have my own little, you know, my own little piece of, um, you know, capitalism, I guess you yeah, could say. Yeah, exactly. And not to, in my mind, you know, I won't have to split it with anybody. I mean, it's mine. It's, yeah. you know, I didn't think that I would have any agents under me. And I was actually a little scared to do that because, you know, when you're going through school, they're yeah. teaching you that you may have agents, but of course, uh, everything is ultimately. <laughs> right. You're responsible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that kind of kept me at bay for a moment. <laughs> Just yeah. thinking, let me, you know, get my bearings about me and, and first. 